So in a programming language, when we are passing variables to a function, one of the things we want to know is whether these variables are getting passed by value or they are being passed by reference. Uh, there are some languages like C and C++ where we have the option to do either of that and there are other languages where we only have one of these ways of passing variables. Uh, what it basically means is that when we uh, pass, a val pass a value to a function, uh, a, a copy is made inside the function and any changes that we make to variables within the function are not reflected in the original variables that we passed to the function. But when we are passing references, what we are doing is we are basically passing pointers into the array and these pointers point to the original memory location where our variables are. And if we make some changes inside the function, the changes get reflected in the original variables that were there outside the function. Um, let's look at some code uh, so that it becomes more apparent and we're going to see how that works in JavaScript and whether in JavaScript variables are passed by values or they are passed by references. So um, let's uh, take an example of this code. Uh, I have a variable, um, the Quidditch winners, uh, Quidditch winner is uh, Harry Potter and there is this uh, function change winner and this change winner function takes a winner argument and then it uh, sets this data into the winner argument okay and uh, then i am going to print this thing here the winner was quidditch winner and then i'm going to call this function change winner and I'm going to send this argument Quidditch winner into it. And then I'm going to print the same thing again. Now the winner is Quidditch winner. So uh, if I uh, run this function, we're going to see that um, the value that we see is it's Harry Potter here and it's Harry Potter here. So whatever was the value of harry potter uh quidditch winner was harry potter and the same thing is accessible here and the same thing is also accessible here um so although quidditch winner was sent as an argument up into this function and we change the value it does not make any effect in this argument uh quidditch winner so this means that in javascript uh, the variable that was passed was passed by value and we made a new copy of this variable inside which we were making those changes uh, it would be more apparent if we take a look at it like this let's log the value of original winner and Okay, and if we print this, we can see that this um, winner parameter here contains the data Harry Potter here. As you can see, it contains the data Harry Potter. But when we make these changes here, it gets reflected uh, out here. Okay. So that means uh, we have a new copy of winner inside the change winner function. So this is uh, pretty much straight and simple pass by value. Now let's uh, take a look at a different example right now. And I, what I will do is, I will make this an array and uh, I will put some data like this here, Harry. Ron and Hermione are the Quidditch winners. So there's a change winners function that takes winners, and this function does something different. It does winners uh, zero is Draco winners one is Fred. 
and winners too is fancy. So the winners were Quidditch winners. We're gonna change winners. And now we're gonna print the value of now the winners are Quidditch winners. And if we print this, so what we notice here is um, we are printing uh, Quidditch winners here, which is this variable. And inside Quidditch winners, the data is Draco, Crab, and Fancy, which means um, this winners array is actually the same array. And when we're making changes here at 0, 1, and 2 position, this data, this data, and this data gets changed to Draco, Crab, and Fancy. Now this looks like pass by reference to us, but uh, if you look at the JavaScript spec and if you look at the documentation of the JavaScript language, you will see that JavaScript always passes data uh, by value and never by reference. So what we're seeing here is not exactly pass by reference. This is also pass by value. How so? In case of arrays, or objects or basically anything that is not a primitive and by primitive I mean uh, variables which are of the type number string uh, booleans except these in any other case uh, Quidditch winner basically refers to something called X and X is a reference to this array inside which this data is present winners is basically when we are passing winners here we are basically passing the value which is x but x is a reference to the array which means winners is also a reference to the array so we are passing by value but the value itself is the reference when we have an array and that's why in javascript when you're passing an object or an array into a function uh, take care that you are passing the reference as the value and that's why although javascript always passes objects uh, as values in case of arrays and objects when you make changes like this you are going to actually change the data inside your original variable